Welcome back to The Reality Guys. I'm your host, Brian, and today I'm talking Summer House, Martha's Vineyard. This is Season 2, Episode 1. So season premiere, um, I recently just watched the first season, I think maybe two, one or two weeks ago. Really enjoyed it. Um, we've said a couple times on the end of our videos that uh, Bill and I are going to be have seen all of Bravo TV at some point. Um, I know we're, we haven't. We're going to get better at it. We're going to be trying to cover more of the shows on here. Um, there's a lot of good ones, a lot of stinkers, in my opinion. But I really like this version of Summer House. I think it's been a lot better than talking more of season one here. Uh, better than the last few seasons of Summer House. I think it's just kind of getting not I guess stale a little bit, but. I really enjoy it. I, I like the people on the show. I think uh, I like that they're there the full time. Like, I think that's the one cool difference is they're only here. They're here again for an extended period of time. Not like the full summer, like the regular summer house here for 15 days. They're in a new house this season. So looking forward to it. I'm, I'm excited. Um, I think the drama is good and people are interesting. So a couple new things. Um, Amir has a girlfriend. He has a girlfriend that not a lot of people like in the group. Um, they actually talk about it. I, I don't remember if he's in the house yet, but the girls make a comment about that they don't really like. Uh, I think her name's Natalie. They don't really like her. They like seem like she seems standoffish. So, uh, so should be fun when she shows up to the, the house at some point this season. Uh, Bria Bri is the first one to arrive. She brings Milo again. Um, not a huge fan of Bria. I kind of find her to be kind of annoying. She just has, always seems like there's a lot of drama, um, unnecessary fights. Not a huge fan of people just thinking that they can just bring their dog wherever they want. If you've watched any of our other videos, I'm always been that's not it's been a stance I've had since we started this page. Yeah, so if you if that's how you are, you're probably gonna disagree with that, but I mean it is what it is. Um Jasmine, uh, she's going alone this time, no Silas. So last season Silas was kind of a piece of shit. He very possessed seemed very protective, had some super weird, like things that he doesn't agree with um he's uh deployed for 10 months in eastern europe so he will not be on the season i'm sure a lot of people including myself um are happy about that because i feel like he just kind of can be a downer and just kind of a jerk so uh, i was I had fun on reddit before um the season two premiered and just seeing how like everyone's super happy that he's not gonna be on um shanice is staying the entire time this year so last season she Stayed, for, I think, for the first couple of days and had to go back for work. And now she's staying the, um, and then came back that weekend, but now she's staying the entire time. So that's good. Um, Alex shows up. Summer does not like Alex at the moment. Um, we'll get more into that later. Uh, he says hello to her and she just completely ignores him. Uh, Preston shows up. Preston is probably the coolest guy on the show. He's definitely the most interesting. Um, he probably is my, if I had to rank everyone, he's definitely number one for me. I just think he's, he's a cool dude. Um, and I actually like like what he said to Bria later in the episode. Just kind of like, we'll get there. But I liked it. Um, girls are staying on pretty much all the single rooms. And there's like a, the way the house is laid out that looks almost like a, I think Alex called it like a prison. He's it's like prison bunks. But it is just like a huge room with a bunch of bunk beds. No curtain. So people are going to try like, I know some, like Nick's bringing his girlfriend. Uh, that'll be interesting. Like if they do have sex and things like that. So have to do like a makeshift curtain or something like that but um i think it's cool i mean uh, if if you're single i i don't really know how i know they like always talk about like i'm gonna meet somebody but like i don't know how much i don't know how much like picking up they're gonna do but we'll see um but the girls do save like a secret room for preston so he doesn't stay with the guys and he's upstairs in his own room uh so there's a new girl this season her name is noel um she shows up thought the guys were warm to her. They seem, they like her. Um, looking forward to know a little bit more about her. Um, so yeah, it, it, I feel like they, on this first episode, like you think it was an hour, it was an hour 15 um, for the premiere, but I, I feel like a lot of it, because we spent a decent amount of time just people showing up. So just maybe like 25 to 30 minutes. And then like a lot of it was like this big, like argument that they had at the dinner later in the evening. Um, so another thing, Preston's dad, uh, his funeral is tomorrow. And this is actually kind of a sad thing. He found out via the internet that his dad is having a funeral. Like him and his sister were like disinvited from a lot of things on, from his, on his dad's side of the family, which is just kind of crazy. And yeah, that, that, that's gotta be tough for him. Um, 
he had like a pretty kind of emotional moment in a confessional, but yeah, that, that, that stuff sucks. I, I find out stuff like that. And like, I mean, he obviously he's not going to go, but it's, yeah, you don't, you don't want to see that kind of stuff. You want them. Don't want to be like not invited to your own dad's funeral. That's, that's not so hopefully, hopefully the stuff with his family gets better. And maybe we'll find out about that later. Um, like I said, um, like I said earlier, I'm not a huge fan of Brie, but she loves Old Bay, and she used a lot of it uh, when she was cooking. So I, I can respect that as someone who loves Old Bay. Salute to that. Um, so they were at the dinner, and Alex gets called out for having an event and not inviting everyone. And he kind of rebuttals back. He's like, "Yo, well, um, I wasn't thinking that, like not everyone's inviting the." Not everyone invites everyone else to the events, and he was kind of referring to Jasmine here. Um, and <laughs> Jasmine starts talking to the girls like she feels kind of neglected, like no one's talking to her. Like she said, like she kind of was the reason why a lot of these people know each other, and she's not hanging out. And they're not asking her to hang out. Uh, Preston isn't having this. He's like, "Why are we doing this tonight? Like, what's up with this?" And Bree, uh, Bria gets like annoyed at him too and he's just like i'm not having it like she just is getting involved in things like he, like he just calls he just calls her out like they are friends it's not like he's like coming from the like something like summer and alex here but yeah uh she walks away for a little bit i think amir says in confessional like she's the only one that can like pop off and then come right back like with no issues so that that moment happens we get like a little bit two or three minutes part of the show and then summer's not done she goes right back at alex and she's she's pissed and she's like I guess the, the quote that is important, she said, you didn't invite the person you were inside of, meaning her. So she's annoyed about that. Um, Alex, uh, that's when he, I did say the Jasmine thing, that's when he rebuttals with the Jasmine thing. Um, yeah, it's, he, he also says like with the event, like you're on a, if you're subscribed to whatever the, uh, like the group that he's in, you would get an invite. It's just, I feel like people just come in, they came into this, they came into the house, people are annoyed at each other, and they were just going to have this, this talk or argument, no matter what, no matter what the conversation was, it was going to come to this, like, the people need to air out their grievances here. Um, <laughs> so the next morning, they have a boat party, um, Jordan and Jasmine talk, because uh, they kind of have not been speaking that much. Um, Jordan says that she couldn't trust Jasmine, Jasmine says that she. She see like that Jordan seems guarded. Um, Jordan said something about like, hey, like we were in a text group, text chat, and I felt like Silas and I got to an agreement and we moved past it. And then we did, and I said something in the, in the chat. They showed it up on the screen, and she's like, I never really got an answer from you. And then Jasmine's like, well, we're basing it off one text. It could probably be like a few episode arc of this conflict or this disagreement. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, Alex and Summer Talk, they're on different pages again. I feel like this will be like another drawn out um, conflict through the season. Um, Preston and Bria Talk, I think, as well. And I, I think that they just squashed it. So, yeah, um, I'm excited for the season. I'm happy to watch it. I'm really looking forward to watching it live and seeing how things go because I think, like, I, I thought some of the stuff like was interesting last season and I would have been liked to see what it was like watching it live, like just week to week to see what people were saying. So we're looking forward to that. So this now this is, this is going to be the start of the week. I'll, I'll have this out on Monday morning. I uh, just, it's 1130 right now on the East coast. And I just, I don't, it's Sunday night. People got to work tomorrow. No one really cares. No one's going to be watching this in the mornings or in the tonight. So I'll just drop it in the morning. Um, we'll have bachelor finale tomorrow as well thank god that that show's over um i will have my love and hip-hop so probably three hour finale for bachelor so i'll probably do love and hip-hop miami on tuesday morning and we'll have love i'll have love and hip-hop atlanta on wednesday morning because it's a tuesday show fan of pump rules we have the valley wednesday we have survivor we have amazing race on wednesday as well um farmer wants a wife is finally back after another week hiatus um jersey shore summer house ready to love season finales next week so we have a ton of stuff coming out and tons of videos so we always have something going on so make sure to check it out and also if you have any show suggestions drop in the comments below i will definitely check it out i've been watching as much reality tv as i possibly can catch a couple of seasons learning about um, old shows to like get ready for some new ones including this one so just 
let us know. We will definitely always give something a shot. And also any other comments are always welcome, even if they're negative towards us. So thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have a good night. See you.